Well, the United Methodist Church is one of many with a history of that unchristian-like practice of exclusion. But if you look here, you'll see this name, Reverend Juana Jordan, the new pastor, and she is not only the first African-American, but the first woman to serve as pastor here. God is doing a new thing. God is always doing a new thing. For Juana Jordan, it's as much homecoming as it is a coming to senses. I'm rejoicing in the fact that there is this opportunity for us to create a different story. Thrilled to be making history by becoming the first African-American and first female pastor at the nearly 200-year-old United Methodist Church in St. Augustine, just not bogged down in the church's history, even as recently as the 1960s. Black people were turned away from the church and arrested. And we need to show you the unconditional love that we didn't. It's a church that ago. formally apologized for its sin of exclusion in 2004. A story of that church apology was picked up on the international wire of the Associated Press. A church that says it needed the right person and found her. Contagious in her enthusiasm and in her optimism and she draws people, and I think the whole community of St. Augustine is going to benefit from that. What's some of your name? Pastor Jordan, who grew up in Jacksonville, has spent five years as a pastor in Fort Lauderdale. She says she's had the holiest of reception back home. Religion is not prejudice anyway. Right off the bat, I am in the midst of huggy, soft tissue people has just been beautiful. It's amazing to see such a southern town changing like that. And I just, yeah, I think it's awesome. And even the worst of history is no match for the passion of this pastor. I think the congregation will say it's never a dull moment when we're here. Who preaches that no one's history is any match for eternal redemption. It does not get in the way of the fact that God says, but I still love you. And you can pray with the pastor. She will be preaching this Sunday at 815, 930 and 11 a.m. In St. Augustine, Jeff Ballin, First Coast News on your side.